Guys, before we get started, I want to let you know that any Faster Promise merchandise purchased from now through May 31st will enter you in to win an MPVI 2 from HP Tuners. Now this month we're giving away two of them. And HP Tuners is the software that I use day in and day out. And they have by far the most user-friendly software for OEM engine management stuff. So they're getting support day by day with all sorts of uh, other import vehicles and domestic stuff. So check them out. Hopefully you guys will be a lucky winner of an MPVI2 with two credits. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Guys, welcome back to the Faster Promise YouTube channel. We've got a Crown Vic that a subscriber gave to us and we're gonna finally put it on the dyno. I've, uh, I've driven this thing about three times. I absolutely love it and uh, it's, it's really a blast. I can't wait to get some forced induction on it but we just wanna see what it makes. I mean, it's supposed to make 300 wheel horsepower in third gear. Unfortunately, on the drive home, I lost third gear, so we got second gear only. We're gonna see what it does with that, but we're gonna have some fun and try and make some power. This thing has that classic Mustang Flowmaster sound. You see he's got an X-pipe. He's got some high flow cats on there. He came to party. It smells very fat. Yeah, we're gonna see about that. Let's see what she's got, man. So this is some pretty old fuel. I don't know how pure that's gonna go. We're gonna replenish some fuel, throw some E85 in there, try and make some power. Oh. We might not be able to get, <laughs> we might have to let this tranny cool back down here, let's see. Well, we'll we're going to let her cool down and see if we can make something happen. He said 180 horsepower. All right, so what did I say? I don't even remember. He said I was like 220 or something like that. Dude, that's really good. First things first here. Just We're gonna need to steal some there. E90. I'm gonna need a fork back. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna take this like put it basically off. All right. That was I want a ten. Was it was a ten. Yeah. So look, I want to steal some E90. Just behind the car. Really? I haven't been behind it. I mean, have you guys have dropped us? Oh hell yeah. All right, let's turn that down, see what's going on. Let's check the intake manifold temperature. We're here to make some freaking power here, all right? So again, very suspect transmission. We had to wait like 30 minutes in order to just be able to make this pull, but we're gonna, we're gonna see what we can do here. So this thing's got a cast aluminum intake. Now these had a recall on them apparently early. They had a plastic intake manifold and something about the coolant, whatever. Again, I'm not a Ford guy, so just forgive me uh, here. The, the way the coolant runs through their epoxy, yeah. they run through the corners of these and they run through the intake, what happened is the, the epoxy would come loose mm -hmm. and it would fill the runners and the spark plug holes with yeah. the coolant. Let's see what we can do here with this. This thing does get really, really hot. So this is just for our interest. A little later, we're gonna throw some ice on that intake manifold and see what it would do. Let's just say if you guys took one of these to the drag strip or one of these aluminum intake manifolds and you wanted to ice it down, see what kind of power you would get. Now, supposedly this is ported and this is a spacer, so I'm not a big fan of this guy right here. We're probably gonna pull this off and we're gonna see if this is in fact ported. And if it's not ported to our standards, we're gonna kind of port that a little bit and then go from there. All right, so this is a mystery fuel. I, I believe it's mostly A85. It's, it's got- It's A85. It's A85? Made out of acorns. Oh, oh, it's, oh nice. Squirrel fuel. It's a renewable energy source here. I'm gonna try not to fall. Okay, so here's the thing. That looks like 85, so 93 has got a yellow tinge to it. This really does seem like a blend. All right, anyway. Told you it's, it's 85. So look, it's gonna take a couple of pulls in order to really see this fuel mix. And I don't know how big the tank is on this. I'm gonna assume it's probably like 20 gallons or something like that. It's like 17 stock. Okay, so we're probably only gonna have like a 40% blend or whatever, but I mean, this thing is really, really rich. When you start it up, it stalls. Uh, there's definitely some love that needs to be done on the tune. So I can't do this thing with HP tuners. I might have a friend help me out with this. Um, I use HP tuner day in and day out. I freaking love the software. It's super user friendly. Unfortunately, they don't support this gear. We're gonna have to make something happen. You know, we'll, we'll do a couple pulls and we'll watch the air fuel change. We're gonna do one just on that change of the penny bell booster pump. So Ford guys, a lot of times, just put the booster pump on there, you crank your fuel volume all the way up, which is a great idea. A lot of GM guys don't do that. I think the GM guys can really learn something from the Ford guys there and just crank her way the hell up.
Kept on trucking after a little. James modified. Just making sure you're flooring it. Yeah, well, yeah, I was definitely flooring it. Just making sure. It was. I was flooring it two seconds after I was done flooring it. Just making sure you had a floor. All right, all right. No changes there, really. 253, 240, so we lost some power. Still off the chart. I'm just going to attribute that to heat soak right now. We're going to keep on trucking. Let's ice down the intake, see what happens. Now let's do this. Let's wait on icing down the intake. Let's look at that intake elbow. Now I ported a couple of those back in the day, way back early in my porting career. Let's just see how good of a job Mike did and uh, see if we can make some more power. So if you guys have been watching for any sort of time, we are all about optimizing every little component. So this cold air right here is not really much of a cold air. We're gonna try and make that a little bit better. It does have a different math housing on it and all that. This is all pretty darn big, but we're gonna look at what the throttle body and what this little spacer looks like and the little elbow. If we can make any of those components a little bit better, we should be able to see a little bit more power. All right, this all looks pretty decent. We can open that guy up just a smidge. Let's open that up. No, actually that's just a spacer. That's kind of, there might not be much for gains there. We're gonna try. Let's look at that intake manifold. Mikey did a pretty good job porting that thing, man. All that EGR stuff though gets in there. Ugh. Really kind of makes it dirty. Ruins up that nice porting job you did. So guys, EGR is exhaust gas recirculation. That has a solenoid right there and it's pumping exhaust back in and that really kind of filths that all up. Like that is nasty, nasty. So I'm gonna play around with this intake and see if we can get some air ducted into the bottom. Now, that's not really gonna do anything on the dyno, but in the real world, it will. Okay, so I just pulled off this cold air intake here and I see a little plumbing down in there. Maybe this thing had nitrous on it at one point. You know, I really don't know, but looks like it very well could have. That's a perfect spot for a nitrous nozzle. All right, so our cold air, I don't think there's really anything we're gonna improve upon in there. You know, as a Chevy guy, this seems like the most unnatural spot for a spark plug. I started looking down in here and I'm like, I know this thing isn't a diesel, so it's gotta have plugs in there somewhere. I'm like, oh yeah, it's got the darn coil unplug thing. All right, it's about to pull out this plug. Let's see what's in it. Oh, we got some sort of like iridium or a platinum or something. Autolite, extreme performance, and that does look like an iridium or a platinum. So these guys might have had a little bit of mileage on them there. We'll probably end up replacing that with like a TR6 or a BR70F if and when this thing gets a force induction. So a little while ago, somebody said in the comments that they were going to send a turbo and I'm like, please. Or somebody else also said, hey man, I got a, uh, a takeoff VMP supercharger. And either which way, if you guys do follow up with that, that is amazing. That would be so freaking awesome. We definitely need as much help from you guys as we possibly can. And this is a fantastic starting point. So one way or another, if we get force induction on this thing, it is going to haul ass. All right, so let's get this thing on here. Georgie did a nice job cleaning this thing up. Oh yeah, you wanna look at yeah, it? Let's take a look real quick here. Let's see inside there. Oh yeah. All right, that's what she's gonna make. She's gonna make that little slurping sound there. Yep. All right, let's make this happen. Let's make some power, ice down the intake, throw some more E85 at her. Let's freaking make this thing happen. All right, boys, and possibly the one girl that watches this, we're going to tighten this up. I'll take that, I'll take that. It's a couple ponies, you know, that was a little bit of cleanup. I like it. Keep going in that same direction. Let's let's see about this fuel adding and we still gotta cool down the intake and ice it down. So let's try that out. I saw the air fuel finally get on the chart at the very end. So it's like we are a teeny amount leaner. So let's try it one more time here. make better mid-range torque even though the peak number wasn't necessarily better so that's not all bad let's try and cool down this intake manifold and see what that's kind of worth because aluminum just heat soaks so bad i know we're losing power there this is a highly technical procedure here we can't really reach back there with the ice so the best plan of action was just stick this big old puppy down in there we're gonna cool down as much as we can she's gonna be okay and i think we're gonna make some power guys i've said this before this doesn't seem like a lot of power, but because it has 410 gears, that does eat up a lot of power, and we're in second gear. Those are two things that are eating a lot of power away. We can't do a third gear pull because we don't have third gear. I would normally do it, but a 410 from, say, a 342 would probably cost about 15 horsepower. Now, I think factory, this might even have a 308 
gear ratio. And then that might be a lot more power yet, maybe even 25 or 30. Really not too bad. She's only a 4.6, man. Head scan, 4.6, it's only 281 cubic inches or so. would help out i knew that cool down would help out man those aluminum intakes i've seen 20 wheel horsepower lost because of heat so we only had that thing on there for like what maybe 10 minutes if that maybe 10 minutes i'm sure that there's definitely more in there if we really 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 cooled it down but that's really not bad so i could also tell when i'm driving the car it's so much more powerful when i first drive it than when it's really heat soaked so this thing is going to be so much fun it's a fantastic starting point let's just say in second gear if we had 15 pounds of boost We'd be looking at like 530 wheel horsepower on a very decent sized turbo. That'd be so much fun in this freaking boat, man. Mike, I'm digging this car. I'm so happy of the things that I'm gonna be able to do with this thing. But let's go out and let's see what she does in the street. In the interest of making more power, we're gonna keep that ice bag right there. Found on roadside or dyno dead. We just took it off the dyno. I had the key on for like a minute. Dead battery. Jump box, <laughs> dead jump box. Next jump box, dead jump box. So we're trying to beat the sun setting and it's gonna happen in just a little bit, but we're gonna get this puppy up and running, go do some donuts. Oh, also I'd like to mention that is a custom Uncle Sam battery spacer so that that thing doesn't sling around. When we got it, that battery, which is also possibly a major culprit, does not fit in the battery box. So hence the custom spacer. slip in right there yeah i'm really pretty sure it was oh man see look hold on oh, we're not going anywhere <laughs> It's like that, uh, oh, we're gonna have to let her sit down and like, oh, it's dead. <laughs> think about it for a second. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> this thing's kind of like, uh, it's kind of like that 12 year old fat dog that you want to take on like a two mile walk, but it only makes it about 50 yards and sits down. That's what this is right now. <laughs> when I went to take off, there was just nothing there. It was just spinning or slipping. That was, we spun the tires a little bit and I think the tranny was just like, nope, I'm done. I'm sitting down and I'm not going anywhere else. So yeah. We're gonna let her cool or maybe try and cycle this, but I don't think that we're gonna get it back. <laughs> I think the training is done, done. Let's try it again here. All right. Okay! Oh, she's back. Oh, oh. darn it! A freaking traction <laughs> drill gets me every time. <laughs> transmission all right guys we're trying to get a transmission tomorrow okay i don't want to abuse this too terribly bad but i think we got smoke coming from areas that we shouldn't be <laughs> that that wasn't really spinning the tires was it very much less <laughs> poor poor car all right i want to try this one last time one last time but uh yeah we're trying we're trying that's reverse, that's reverse. <laughs> Well, that's a little strange. Oh, oh, oh yeah! <laughs> Go towards the outers. 
favor. Let's try one. I'm, I'm, I'm addicted. <laughs> I'm addicted. All right. I see your donuts and I raise you. I'm gonna have to learn how to drift around the circle track there, but you definitely got me beat on that. But I'm getting my car control up to Cletus standards here. Uh, I think that's the only gear we got there, buddy. <laughs> I'm gonna try to put it in reverse. We have a small problem here. That's reverse, except it's not, it's not. Hey, look, that's still, no, we're neutral. <laughs> They're all four drive gears. What the hell? All four drive gears. Good thing it'll be every do year. <laughs> How did this happen? Lance, you're supposed to be pushing. <laughs> you're Barney Rubble in it. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> ah, crap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right, we'll find our resting place. Guys, check out a bunch of the other stuff that we got going on. This has been a blast with this car. Got so much good things looking forward to doing with that car. We got a bunch of other builds. Do check out a bunch of our other videos. Check out some of our merchandise on our store that helps us do stupid stuff like this. And you guys can hopefully learn from it and just enjoy it, whatever. We're really thankful for all the guys that are overseas fighting and doing all sorts of stuff for us. All our first responders and people that are protecting us and keeping us safe. This has been a blast. We're doing this junk for you guys so that you can have some fun while you're out doing what you got to do. God bless you guys. We'll see you later.